So as you can see, and I, as you can hear, that sounds really, really cool. So let's move on to the next effect, which is going to be the, uh, you, you have a lot of equalizers, as you can see, but you can also use the pitch shift. We're going to click on add, we're going to click on OK on that guy as well. So let's see what it uh, looks like. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit audio like a boss. So if you guys are curious for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below already and I will say let's get started. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 15 as always and we're going to record ourselves. We're going to just record our voice. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to insert a new video track. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little microphone icon. We're going to press on OK. And once we clicked on that, as you can see, our voice, uh, you know, the, the equalizer or the, the, the meter just shows up because we're talking. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go to the bottom and we're click on record. And that will record our voice. So let's record something real quick. OK, guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to record, uh, how to edit audio like a boss. Okay, this is our audio. Let's uh, hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna put t put up my headset. This is what it sounds like. Okay, guys. So I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to record, uh, how to edit audio like a boss. All right, that sounds really cool. So in order to edit audio like a boss. We can add a lot of effects so we're going to go to the little effects button right here and we're going to go uh, uh and we're going to walk through most of the options not every single one but otherwise this video will be really really long so let's say that you want to add some distortion for example because you want to create like an ear rape or something uh effect you can just go ahead and click on distortion click on add click on ok well, what that will do is will, it will show up this box and we have a lot of presets so let's say that you will want to boost uh, the positive signal uh, this is what it sounds like Okay guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video, so I'm going to show you guys. So that creates kind of an ear rape effect as you can see, but if you want to add in like a nice fuzz. Okay guys, so I'm just recording something. And it's just really, really clipping and really uh, distorted and that's basically how you add in the distortion. We're going to move up to the other, the, well the next option, which is going to be, let's see what we're going to, what, what we can use. Uh, let's say that you want to pick the graphic E. I'm going to skip all those express ones because they're basically the same as the standard ones. So I'm going to click on the uh, graphic EQ. I'm going to click on add, click on OK. And right here, you can equalize your voice. Let's say you want to add in a lot of bass in your voice. This is what it sounds like. Okay, guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of... As you guys can hear, this sounds really flat. Okay, guys, so I'm just recording... Some but if you want to add in some nice boost, uh, bass to your voice, this is what it sounds like. Okay, guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So if you want to make it a little bit more crisp, you're going to bring this guy up as well. So this is what it sounds like. You, the really the, the S's will really start stand out in this uh, set, setting. Okay, guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to record, uh, how to edit audio like a boss. So as you can see, and I, as you can hear, that sounds really, really cool. So let's move on to the next effect, which is going to be the, uh, you, you have a lot of equalizers, as you can see, but you can also use the pitch shift. We're going to click on add, we're going to click on OK on that guy as well. So let's see what it uh, looks like when we want to pitch our voice higher or lower. So let's start off with higher. Okay guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna... As you can notice, the voice will also speed up because of the of the of the pitch. So what we're going to do to avoid that is we're going we're gonna to click on the preserve duration and we're going to put that one to uh, speech and fast. So this is what it sounds like. Okay guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to record, how to edit. Okay guys, so I'm just... So that's basically how you make your voice higher or lower. This is going to be lower if you want to bring it in the minus. Okay guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how to record, uh, how to edit audio like a boss. So that's how you do it guys, this is how you pitch your voice higher or lower, as you can hear. Okay guys, so I'm just recording... Okay guys, so I'm just recording something right now. So that's a really cool effect and that's how you create a nice pitch shift. I'm, I'm going to undo uh, the pitch shift because I, because I don't really need it. There we go. Okay, let's move on to the next effect we can use is uh, the reverb. So let's say that you want to add in a little bit of echo, a little bit of reverb. What you can do is you can choose many different templates. If I, if I can click on the drop down menu, as you can hear. So let's say that we are uh, pretending to stand in a bright hall. 
Okay guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to record, uh, how to edit audio like a boss. As you can hear, it has a lot of echo and it stands, it looks like we're standing in a bright hall, but we can also have like a metal tank. Okay guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So that's, that sounds like we're in a metal tank, as you can see, that's pretty obvious. So we can also have a, a small hall. Guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to record, uh, how to edit audio like a boss. So that sounds really cool. And that's how you add in reverb. So what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and click on the effects tab one more time or two more times. And we're going to go ahead and see what kind of other effects we can use. So let's click on the uh, little icon. And as you can see, we have a simple delay, we have a time stretch, we have the track EQ, and we have a track noise gate. We're going to drag that in. Well, just click, in, click on add, click on OK. So if you go ahead and pick a nice template, this is basically what it sounds like. Okay, guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose. Not really that much difference. Okay, guys, so I'm just recording something right now for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to record, uh, how to edit audio like a boss. So that's basically how to do it, guys. This is how you edit audio like a boss. This is how you add in uh, multiple effects, a lot of effects. So that's it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the continuous support. And I'll catch you guys, obviously, tomorrow in a brand new video on the channel. So I'll see you guys, obviously, tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.